Welcome back everybody. This is uh, part seven of my ongoing guide for the Humble Merchant Start. Hopefully I've counted right. If not, I'll find out soon enough. Uh, I've made a few changes since the last uh, video and just expanding the uh, complex that we built in Unknown Sector. And it's here in front of us. I'm also using the Turbo Booster, which is a neat extension that's included in the bonus pack. Uh, for Albion Prelude, and I definitely Attention. recommend getting that. It's using my laser energy first, and then my shield energy, which is really cool. Then, of course, it has to cool off. Anyway, um, here's a closer view of the uh, station, or the complex, rather, and the stations uh, comprising it. Now, you can see here that there are lots of stations attached and they present the appearance of kind of being grid-like they're all laid out very cleanly uh, on the same plane and this complex hub alpha <clears throat> the actual hub is below them and that's by design here's what it looks like on the sector map so we have all the stations attached that are doing mines of course can't really control their placement but this stuff we can and this is the cool part. You see they're lined up really nice on a grid, and if I zoom a little, if I rotate the view, you'll see they are all exactly lined up on a plane. Uh, right up here, these guys. And the only thing hanging below it, like a pair of ba- I mean, anyway, the only thing dangling below, <laughs> I'm gonna stick to that language, is this, uh, the complex hub itself. Now by doing it this way, I'm free to position some new stations right here along the same grid on the same plane and plop down a new complex uh, construction kit right here where the cursor's pointing, or the, right around here. And so I do that with two new stations, then combine that plus the old hub, and that'll have the effect of deleting the old hub, moving everything connected to a single hub right here, bringing it closer to the gate. That's what I plan on doing, <clears throat> and we'll do that just as soon as some of the other components arrive. And they are currently en route. I've already ordered them, and they are on their way. We are just waiting for a slow-ass pair of ships. We have a Mammoth and a Supply Albatross. I decided that uh, I should go into Talati space and pick up a couple Taladianium factories uh, because they just take energy to run and nobody else in this neighborhood makes any of the stuff so it might be good to create a new market and kind of corner it a little bit <clears throat> then of course they wouldn't sell me the complex construction kits I needed because my ranking isn't high enough yet the jerks and uh, so I brought in the supply mammoth to take those for us because there's just there wasn't enough room on the uh, albatross anyway I flew him to the shipyard here and there was only room for one which annoyed me so I had to hire this uh, supply mammoth to carry the other one he said I got a big load for me he's just carrying one complex construction kit but anyway <clears throat> that's where that stands we're just waiting for the uh, haulers to move their big butts over here. I also, if you just noticed, these guys just flying into the system. Where the hell did they go? There they are. I just ordered a pile of mistrels. Five of them. Mistral. <clears throat> I've got them in a... Uh, what is it? A wing. Because I've got some more outfitting to do for each of them. But, in the meantime, they are pretty much upgraded and ready to... Or they're pretty close to fully upgraded and ready to go. Hauler. This hauler is also just returning home on orders. I'm going to set him off on... Actually, we should do that now. I'm just going to start a... Damn it. I guess he's got to be parked first. That or I've got managed to miss the upgrade for that again. I don't know why. Because I took him to all three places that sell upgrades we care about. We'll see. Let him park first and then figure it out. Now, what's amusing is we've got a lot of uh, congestion here. There's lots of ships parking and uh, buying their stuff from me already. 
And I'm very tempted to tell it to only let my ships park here. In fact, Complex let's do that. Let's make that change. Other races can trade with this station. Hell no. No more intermediate product trading either. Well, we can do sell, I guess, but... There. That kicked them all loose. Get the hell out of here, guys. This is my sector. I'll bring the wares to you. Thank you very much. So. <laughs> there go all those jerks. I don't know why these little ships were parking Bomb. anyway. Freight transporter. Paranid. Freight trans split. High-tech teladi. High-tech transporter. Oh. <laughs> I guess they were just buying and selling. Oh, well, whatever. I'll turn that back on in a bit. I just want them out of my face for now. Complex hub alpha. Okay. Toucan hauler. Please tell me you can actually do this. Damn it. What is missing? Why don't I have commodity logistics? Oh, he has no home base. That's why. There we go. Now he should be able to. There we go. Commercial rep. Get going. Command accepted. <clears throat> now we're going to let these Mistral idiots line up. And eventually park, I hope. Mistral. <laughs> There's one that knows where he's going. Mistral. These guys are just confused. What the hell are they even doing? Let's try this again. Purple wing. Command accepted. Head home, guys. You know how to do it. Scatter like bees. Now, I don't suppose those freighters turned up here, did they? One of them did. No, they both did. Cool. Okay, so while those idiot mistrols are doing their thing, we're going to set up some stations. The Albatross has the two Teladianium uh, stations. You are talking so we're going to do those first. Okay, so here's how I've been doing this. No real magic to it. Ooh, there's, the, there's a close-up look of the thing. So we zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to line them up on this grid and hope I'm not in the way. I'm not. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, first things first, we're going to set it so that we're perfectly lined up here. And bring it back out. That looks good to me. And he's on the up-down axis, that looks right. So we're going to plop him there. It is good to unload freight. Kaboom! Just destroyed my own station. Oh, not really. But that came damn close to that asteroid. Doesn't look like I hit it, though. <laughs> it's always a plus. You are talk this is the Talad. Alright, dude. Let's do some more freight. Oh, geez. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. No aim. Oops. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We didn't hit it. <laughs> A little bit of brown trousers time if I had. Alright, so again, we're going to line that up on this part of the grid. Move up. And that looks lined up to me. Rotate. And now we're just going to plop him in the same physical space there. Same height. And plop. It is good to... Perfect. Okay. Now for the trick. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to call the same guy and make a new complex just out of these two guys. You are talking. This is the We're going to join both the foundries. And we're going to park the station itself. I'm going to keep it lined up with this guy. But I want it down at this level right here so then bring that back over put him 
right underneath. <clears throat> now that's still not quite on me, so that won't kill me. Good to pay attention to that sort of thing, though. We don't want to get too close to the uh, actual ship. That's us right there. So let's plop that down. It is good to... Okay, we're done with the albatross now. Albatross! Yeah, didn't I promise I'd quit doing that in the last episode? Okay, I'll quit now. <laughs> so the albatross is on his way, bailing out and doing his own crap. Now, for the You're fun talking attack. to the automated... This is the captain. So here's what we're going to do. We drop... We pick the first station that we want. This is the one we want to keep. We pick that first. Then we pick the other. Everything's just fine. And that's it. Now, if we look at the map, we see that there's a gap, which means I can actually build some more, build something else there, which is handy. Uh, and now it's all hooked together, and that means we should have Teladionium crunching away now. Yep, we do. Cool. Look at that. <laughs> Speed up with Sita just to see it churn. All right. Now, I did a bit of math, and I think we can speed up energy cell production by dropping another solar power plant XL here. But I don't think we can do much more than that, because we don't have enough silicon wafers being produced to keep the crystal fabs powered and driven, and f uh, keeping the uh, crystal stock high enough for all of the, uh, for the energy, or solar cell. Uh, solar plant that is but uh, that's not a huge deal I don't think that'll be a problem it'll just mean one of the power plants will always be starving but we'll never run out of energy which is the main goal here all right so we're churning out teladionium along with ore we're actually full of ore so now we've got a bunch of ships parked that we need to deal with where are those guys Landed, there's my mistrolls. Okay, so they're all still... Well, I just need them to jump. So I'm gonna put in 500 energy cells each. Energy cells. Energy cells. Transfer. Yay! Energy cells. Oh, crap. Or transferred. Energy. Always feel kind Energy of stupid sir. when I do something like Transfer. that. <clears throat> All right, now let's just order these guys to jump. What in the? Oh, neat. I command this. This is part of also part of the uh, bonus pack. Definitely worth installing. We're going to jump these guys all the way over to Home of Light. We're going to have them park at TerraCorp. Now, where's my station? There's my station. There's those little dudes. Watch them jump. Yeah! All right, now. Huh, cool. They use the navigation beacon. Good for them. Or do they use the east gate? One of the two. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now at TerraCorp. We can do some trading here. Best buys, best could probably do a group upgrade leader. if I park them at a Please shipyard, don't. but they don't have all the stuff here that uh, they don't have a shipyard here, so I can't do that. Bio scanner installed. 
Trade command. Trading. Basically, just upgrading them with everything I can put on the ships. Best, best seller. Bio scanner installed. Trade com trading. Best, best. You joke about oh, he's putting on the transporter installed. device. How stupid! What a waste of money. Right up until you end up having to fly one of these one day, best, best and you realize that oh, scanner. hey, that's really convenient. Installed. It'd be nice if I could just trade jump into that ship. And suddenly, there's best, that teleporter, and scanner installed. you don't have to... Insufficient oh, I ran out of monies! <laughs> That's too funny. Alright, well. Trading transporter device installed. Oh, that's right, I've been buying stations left and right, haven't I? Ha! Well, I'm gonna have to put that upgrade on hold, aren't I? That was just the last one that doesn't have enough cash. Yeah, we can rob Peter to pay Paul. Why not? Give me 500k, please. Funds that factory doesn't have any problems at all making money, so we'll just take advantage of that. Trade command software MK3 install. Okay. Now these guys need to jump back over to Argon Prime. This time we'll park them at the shipyard because we can do upgrades there in groups. Now, of course, it, it becomes obvious that we need some money. So the obvious solution is just to let these guys sit and spend... Oh, wait, I need to turn this back on. Complex hub alpha. Okay, other races can trade. We sell intermediate. Max jumps down to three. Mm, I think that's right. Okay. That turns things back on so they can churn some profit for me. Oh, right, and I have to tell my ships to stop being idiots now. I think. Maybe. Maybe this guy's just being dumb. Trade. Nope, we can do commercial rep. Okay. Command accepted. Get to work, buddy. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's see to run for just a second here and see if we'll get some profit quickly. Otherwise, uh, I'll just pause recording and go play with the stock market a little bit and come back with some extra cash so we can keep moving on here. Anyway, the, the, the main point that I wanted to demonstrate here is how to keep adding on to a station or a complex in using kind of a grid uh, to lay everything out while still being able to move the uh, hub for the whole thing uh, closer and closer to a target like the gate here. So if we look at the map, we'll skip that for now, look at the map here. We did have our hub over here and now, let's see, that was at, what was it, negative? 1.23 now we move all the way over here 16.5 so we moved it a good 15 kilometers in the right direction so now it's let's see negative 16 and a half to 49.2 or 49 so it's still a good good ways away from the gate but still not as far and that's a good thing the closer we can get it to the gate the less turnaround time there is on uh, <clears throat> selling wares and that sort of thing so we'll just keep building up and extending the station and, and as we go, and uh, we'll keep growing this thing. So that's it for this video, actually. Uh, we'll cut this a little bit short so we don't have to spend more time waiting for me to play with the stock exchange. Uh, so that's it for now. <clears throat> that's uh, where everything stands. Both the stations are profitable, it turns out. Uh, even the one in Home of Light 
And I found that out by just accidentally leaving the game running overnight without Sita. And I came back and noticed, holy crap, they both have profit. Cool. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you next time where we'll continue to grow this thing even more, turn out some more uh, profitable stuff like microchips and shields and that sort of fun. So until then, have some safe flying fun and blow up a few pirates for me. Those jerks keep taking pot shots at my freighters. So uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.